This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So we've already talked about the five reasons why you should be a wedding photographer, but honestly, let's be for real, being a wedding photographer can be extremely stressful and time consuming. So let's talk about the five reasons why you shouldn't be a wedding photographer. Now keep in mind, some of these reasons are gonna be very controversial, but coming from someone who's been in the industry for eight years, I know this from a fact after shooting so many weddings. But the first reason you shouldn't be a wedding photographer is because it's not a creative line of work. And I'm sure a lot of you all wanna argue me in the comments below, and if you do, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But honestly, when it comes to it, wedding days are basically the same thing over and over and over and over. Also, as a wedding photographer running a smooth wedding photography business, consistency is a part of your product. While you can possibly edit your stuff in different kind of ways, it makes more sense just to edit it in one single way, which is why I use the Natural Fields preset, shameless plug, on every single one of my weddings to give it a consistent and beautiful look. So because of that, you're doing the same thing every wedding, everybody's getting ready, there's a ceremony, there's a reception, there's first dances, there's a sparkler exit, really, how much creativity is there? Now, I will say that there is creativity within the staticness of weddings, but at the end of the day, you're basically shooting the same thing over and over and over. So if you're looking for something with more creativity, with more fun, where you can do something extremely different on every shoot, wedding photography is not the way. Reason number two is you're running a business. You're not just taking photos. So many people, get into wedding photography wanting to be a photographer and all they want to do is take beautiful photos on the side of a mountain and all this great stuff that is not wedding photography wedding photography is a business that you are running you're providing a service for your couples capturing their most important day and providing them with extremely beautiful photos if you just want to take pretty pictures wedding photography is not for you because let's just be real Half the time wedding days run late, you don't get the time you want to to take the photos you want, everything is just in disarray, and sometimes it's really not fun. I can't tell you how many weddings I come back home from just totally disappointed in the day. While the photos end up beautiful, the whole time I'm basically just like, ugh, I didn't get enough couple portraits and we only got time for this and everything was just, uh. <laughs> But keep in mind, when it comes to running a business and not just taking beautiful photos, there's so many other things you have to deal with. Your taxes, business license stuff, insurance, paying other people, getting 1099s to everybody. It's just so many things to deal with making your website, making sure your brand looks good, getting some branding done and having a nice logo, having business cards, all of these things you have to do. And that's the part that matters more than taking pretty photos. So reason number two is probably one of the biggest reasons why not to be a wedding photographer, really. Because a lot of people, they're just like, oh, I love pretty photos. No, 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 no. You're running a business. If you're not in this trying to make money, and providing a great service and product, just don't, don't do it. Speaking of not just taking pretty photos, regardless of if you want to be a wedding photographer or not, if you're running any type of business, you need to set up your website with this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform to allow you to build your website and build your web presence easily and quickly. As a business owner, getting things done quickly and as cheaply as possible is extremely important. That's why in the description below, there is a 10% off link for your first domain or website with Squarespace. Click on the link and choose yourself a template, throw your photos into it with some beautiful text, and you will have an amazing website in no time. I've been on Squarespace for the whole eight years of my business, and my website is absolutely beautiful. On top of that, I have other services like great customer service, commerce, and even member areas. There's so much I can do with my website and it helps me really build my online brand. You can do the same for yourself with the link in the description below for 10% off of your first domain or website. On to reason number three to not be a wedding photographer. It is mainly customer service. I say this all the time and no one wants to hear it, but wedding photography is like 85, 90% customer service. If you work at a customer service job now and you absolutely 
hate it, you probably don't wanna get into wedding photography because pretty much it's the same thing. Honestly, half the reason I do so well in wedding photography is because of the 10 years of customer service experience I have under my belt. Between trying to sell computers at Apple, servicing audio clients in the audio industry, or answering emails in customer service at Squarespace, yes, I did work there, I have been doing customer service for longer than I've been doing photography. And every single one of those jobs taught me something that I brought over to my photography business. Again, taking pretty photos and using your camera is the teeny, teeniest part of wedding photography. So really, if you hate customer service, if you hate when customers come back and wanna return the product and they're all lame and just acting like the worst humans ever, you might not wanna do wedding photography because you'll probably deal with the same stuff. And if y'all would like to see me make some videos about how to deal with difficult couples or difficult clients, let me know in the comments below. Reason number four is wedding days are stressful. Now there are ways to lessen the stress, but at the end of the day, even when you have a plan in place, things run late, People get mad. There's all kinds of things you have to deal with at a wedding day. Because of this, if you're not the type of person who loves a high paced work environment where who knows what can happen at any time, it's probably not for you. If you want an easy day where the, everything's the same all the time, where you don't have to go drive out into the middle of nowhere and hope you don't die, you know, <laughs> if you don't wanna have to do that stuff, wedding photography is probably not for you. I mean, I've had actual wedding days where I had wedding coordinators yelling in my face, in front of the couple, and I just had to keep a cool head and not be stressed about it. All this stuff is water under the bridge, but yeah, I come away from wedding days like, totally stressed out sometimes. I've had weddings where I was so looking forward to the couple's wedding and it's like straight up torrential downpour, tornado warning, like the whole hurricane coming through everything, you know, like, and then I'm totally bummed because I didn't get to do the photos I wanted to. Between being totally upset about the situation and or just having stress on the day of, wedding days are super stressful. It's all customer service, managing expectations, and also managing everyone's emotions. And if that already has your hands sweating with me talking about it, yeah, <laughs> wedding photography is not for you. And the last reason is one that's kind of close to home, <laughs> being a wedding photographer, but it is super lonely being a wedding photographer. Now, unless you build a team around you, Honestly, most of the time, especially if you travel for weddings like I do, you're by yourself all the time. I travel to all kinds of cool places all the time, like Western Carolina, way out in the mountains, or somewhere in Florida, or somewhere up north. I'm always traveling. I travel at least between 10 and 20 times in a year, and most of the time, I'm always by myself. While I do hire second photographers in the area, Pretty much I'm flying or driving somewhere, staying in a hotel by myself, going to a party that I'm basically a third wheel to, taking great photos, being like, yay, congratulations, this is awesome, and then going back home to my hotel to be like, do I wanna go to a restaurant and eat by myself and be that guy, or do I wanna just sit in the hotel room and eat Skinny Pop. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, it, it can be hard. It can be emotionally very hard going on these really great trips to really relaxing areas, fun stuff that you get to do, but you're by yourself. Actually, keeping that in mind, I have a wedding that I'm going to at the start of May over in Hilton Head, right on the beach. Got a great hotel. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful by myself. <laughs> I have like a five hour drive to get down there by myself. So again, wedding photography can be extremely lonely unless you have a team around you, which could be helpful because you can take more weddings when you have a team. These things are nothing to scoff at. And again, if you didn't see my video about five reasons to be a wedding photographer, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But wedding photography is not for the faint of heart. But if you wanna learn more, definitely make sure to check out these videos here, which will give you education on how to do weddings seeing real weddings in action, and all the nitty gritty that you should be focusing on in your business today.